Well, solving the mystery behind this new psychological thriller is only the beginning. Now here's a peek at Escape the Field. We're just trying to get out of here. Oh, yeah? Prove it. I woke up in this field. I started walking. Found her. Now here we are. She's in the same boat. Trust me. Fine. Well, who can you trust? Well, lucky for us, our next guest, who may or may not have escaped the field, is very trustworthy. I know this for a fact. So please welcome back actor, producer, director, writer, podcaster, ranter, and New York's very own Mr. Theo Rossi. Wow, that was wonderful. Good Thank morning, you. Theo Rossi. Good morning. Good morning from uh, Austin, Texas. Good I know morning. that's where you are. Everyone loves Austin. It's cool. I know. It's cool. It's very different than New York. First of all, you don't have to tell if you're there, it's automatically cool. Because <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, like, if you're there, there's no you don't have to say cool. We we see your picture, your image. We're like, that's going to be cool. Oh, we should, oh, I think we should replace the word cool with Rossi. That's oh, I'm saying. listen, I'm with you. Yeah, okay. we'll say like, I tell people cool out. So instead of cool out, I'll say Rossi out. Oh, Rossi out, Rossi out. But yeah. Ro yeah. the opposite of this is that Rossi is in this new movie, Escape the Field, which almost gave me a heart attack last night. <laughs> don't do that. No, no. We don't want that to happen. No. Um, great, yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool that I almost had a heart attack. Thank you, Theo Ross. No, 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 no. <laughs> I would never want to put you in that position. No, but it's cool that it got you like to listen, feel something. I like that. From the, like, listen, like, whoever did the music for this, like the sound effects yeah. and everything, because I don't watch horror movies. I don't even look. I look away. I was looking at my mango, which I almost like choked on. I almost swallowed an entire mango eating this. I was because I was eating, watching this movie. So first of yeah. all, tell, explain, because we already saw the clip, ex explain what's going down. And then I'll explain what was going on with my heart and then my head. Yeah, and, and then also the fact that you were watching movies eating mangoes and not popcorn, <laughs> which is, that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> It's like we're going to start serving those at the movie theater. <laughs> Popcorn? No, I'll take a mango. You got it. Um, so <laughs> escape the field. Um, the uh, Everybody, you know, a bunch of, a group of people, uh, I think it's five to be exact, wake up in this field, or six, not sure. And uh, they just literally wake up in this field and have no idea how they got there. Uh, there is no cell phones. They have nothing. They're just there. And they all wake up with one item. And chaos ensues ultimately they have to figure out why it was funny before i uh once this film came to me from a friend of mine who was directing it who i'd done a bunch of projects with before he turned me on to escape rooms which i had never known about mm -hmm. um or participated in they're pretty big out here i'm not sure in new york when i was grew I up there so. and living there i'd never i'd never heard of them i guess maybe they're all over now and that's kind of what's going on here in this field they have to figure out this game, this life or death game that they've now been put in. I'm glad you said life or death because with between me, Escape the Field, and my mango, it was life or death. <laughs> <laughs> I just think this mango thing is fantastic. I know. I ate three. I had three mangoes last night because I had three for dinner. I know. I know. Never just ignore my mango, but I just needed. I, something, I needed something to distract me. But let me say, you play yeah. Tyler in this film. What did you yeah. guys film? We filmed outside. This was the first film back, uh, you know, basically when the world changed and, you know, the global pandemic took over. So we went and we filmed in this small cornfield outside Hamilton, Ontario, oh. uh, outside Toronto. Yeah. And, you know, it was it was really the only way it was the first film back. I wasn't sure. I don't think any of us were about how Hollywood was going to rebound, if any way, if we were going to be able to make films. And we were the one of the first films back, I believe, uh, in out of the entire business. And it was really as I think that all added to kind of the tension and what was going on because we were trying to figure it out. So it was a little small. Well, not a small corn uh, cornfield, a very large cornfield. I was say, it didn't look small. Yeah. Very large. Uh, and it was really interesting because yeah. we were outside the entire film, ultimately, yeah. in this field. Mm -mm. I was like, if I had, all I was thinking was like, if I had a, a matches like you, I would just like roast some corn and call it a day and then wait for the me Lord, too. To, come, wait for the Lord to come get me. 
Yeah, I will not, just light it off. I will not. I will not survive it. But I'm glad you said that it's your friend who directed this, because in my yeah. stalkeration of you, I found out that you're going to make your directorial debut. I am. Yeah, we got a couple of things. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to produce my next film. That'll that'll come first, um, and then uh, and then we'll get right into the directing thing. And then there's another uh, a film that I have that's actually set in New York in '87 that might jump the line that I'll direct. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. There's a lot. There's a lot going on, and we're we're pretty happy with it all. Yeah, we're we're happy that you're happy and we're happy that you're thriving and just doing all kinds Thank of great you. things because you are New York's very own. Like we we yeah. claim you. You're you're yes. in Austin now, living the ranch life. Yeah, I am. But you know what? Listen, I'm there all the time. My entire family is there. My mm -hmm. my heart, my soul, everything that I do, you know, uh all my inspiration, even for like, you know, this new film we're writing, everything is New York. It's the epicenter, it's the beginning, it's the end, it's all of it. And um, yeah, I uh I chose the out to be out here in the ranch life for for my two little boys right oh. now, but I'm back all the time. So uh you know, once we load up with enough donkeys and sheep, so I'll, I'll, I'll be back there. Oh, and I know you said, you, like, all your family's here. And if they're watching, I just want to let Theo Ross's family know, if you need any mangoes, I have a lot. <laughs> I'm not this even joking. It's mango season. It's my favorite fruit. What's your favorite fruit, Theo Oh, Theorossi? she's got you on the mangoes. <laughs> What's your favorite fruit? Oh, uh, watermelon for sure. Oh. Uh, definitely number one, watermelon with a little cinnamon on it. Um, oh. Apples. Wow. Yeah, watermelon with cinnamon. Apples and then a uh, little honey on the apples. Oh yeah. my gosh, you're fancy. Yeah. Wait, before we go, do you want to do a, a quick Happy Mother's Day to your wife it's and your mom? To everyone. Okay. To everyone. Um, I am. I am raised by women. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Uh, whether you be a mother to children, whether you be a mother to animals, um, whether you be whatever it is, uh, mothers rule the world. Uh, women rule the world, and I. Every day is Mother's Day. I know people say that. Yeah. So the fact is, without it. We're all not here. Aww. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to send a shout out and a giant Mother's Day to everyone. Everyone, what Theo Rossi said. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. And tell Shane West I said Happy Mother's Day to his mom. He owes me her cake from her birthday. Remind him, please, because I think I'm going to tell him right now. All I'm right, going to send him you. a big mango hello from you. <laughs> and, uh, enjoy your day. I appreciate you. Anytime, Theo Rossi. Hope to see you soon for all your other projects. Everyone at home, his movie Thank Escape you. the Field is in select theaters on digital and on demand this Friday. So go check it out. Your heart will race, but you will thank him because he brings it. Thank you, sir. See you soon. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate you.